What's up guys, Grim here. Today we're going to go over a Riftblade PvP build. Now mind you, this is not a PvE build, so don't use it in your raids and stuff like this. This is made for burst damage and also for the survivability and everything that goes into PvP. And of course, a few more things added to macros than you would in a PvE build. So this build has recently gotten buffed and it's a lot more powerful than it was just shortly ago. Riftblade used to be really good, then it got nerfed and now it's gotten buffed up a little bit and it makes it to where it's viable in PvP now. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys the build that I've been using and I hope you guys enjoy it. All right, let's go into the soul tree here. And if you'd like to see this build on a web page so that you don't have to pause the video or anything like that, all you have to do is look in the description below and I will have the macros down there, the build, the K alerts, all that stuff. And mind you, the macros will be updated macros as in they may not be the same as in the video because a lot of times I change macros as I go along so make sure that you refer down there for the most up-to-date build and macros all right so we went 61 rift blade and then the two sub souls that we're going into is paragon and tempest and of course you fill up the entire rift blade tree with 61 points and the six points in paragon will be five points into teaching of the five rings and one point into wrist strike for a debilitate and then we got nine points in the tempest which five is into amped one into elude and three in enhanced power the masteries that we got is level 61 enduring survival level 62 steadfast soul 63 energy reserves 64 deliberate strikes and level 65 i picked up power variation because i always like to have a a good heal in pvp and if you want more damage you can pick up power manipulation and it's all your choice it's completely optional which way you go if you want the heal or you want more damage your choice the buffs that we'll be using with this build is Blade of the Ascended, Avatar of Wind, Avatar of the Rift, Way of the River, Empower, and Enhance Conductivity. And then you can pick up any Guild or Planner buffs that you want to use. Alright, let's check out our macros here. And mind you, all of the macros will be in the description below this video, so be sure to check down there. Alright, so we have the spam macro right here. The finisher macro, our burst macro, which is going to give us lots and lots of burst damage, AOE macro, we have an AOE finisher macro here, our charge button, which we have two charges basically, our heal macro, if you picked up power variation instead of power manipulation, and then rift barrage, which is going to be our stun. The buttons that I have on my bars is the spam button, our finisher button, our burst macro, uh, frost strike, which is going to buff up our other attacks, our self heal macro, our charge macro, AOE macro, the AOE finisher macro, then we have elude, which is our leap back, break free on a separate button, don't put any macros guys, uh, wind spear, which is going to be our interrupt. Uh, Rift Barrage, which is going to be our stun macro, and then Wrist Strike. Alright, let's go into how to play this build, and this is actually a very simple build to play. It's just mainly knowing what the mechanics are of it. So let's go ahead and open up our Soul Tree so that I can explain to you how Rift Blade works. Alright, if you look at the level 65 Mastery Power Manipulation, you will know that whenever you use this ability, it will make it to where the next five damaging attacks that you do will do extra damage on top of them. Well, that's basically how Rift Blade works with its finishers. If we go ahead and close this down and open up our abilities, uh, we'll use Fiery Burst right here as an example. It makes it to where if you use this finisher with three combo points, it will add 35,000 damage to your next attack. So that's how your finishers work. They all have different cooldowns, so you end up using different ones, but they're all basically around the same concept. And if you look at Rift Burst, this is the big hard hitting one. It will add 70,000 more damage to your next attack. And if you use it with an ability called Burst Synergy, it'll make it to where your next three attacks hit with that 70,000 damage extra on top of your already hard hitting abilities. 
So it makes it to where it's a really bursty build if you use it that way. Then we have another ability here called Frost Strike, which this is much like a lot of other builds that you guys may be familiar with, such as Ranger, Marksman, Vulcanist, just a lot of other builds that will have an ability that you use and then for like 15 seconds, like your damage increased by 10% or something. Well, this is what Frost Strike basically does. So whenever you hit somebody, it's going to do 19,000 water damage to them, but it'll increase the elemental strike damage by 30% for 15 seconds. So this is an ability that you want to use every 15 seconds or else if you switch targets, you want to use it again because it does apply to the target. It isn't applied to you. So you want to make sure to keep this up at all times if you can. That way your damage is increased by 30%. And in PvP, that is a very big deal. Alright, so if we go up to the dummy, the first thing that we need to do is we need to apply our Frost Strike. And you'll see that I have K alerts notifying me to the left of my character right here that tells me whenever my burst synergy is up. That is going to let me know that I can use my burst at any time. But before I ever use a burst, we got to use our Frost Strike. And if you see, I'll use the ability and to the left of my character, you'll see that I have a countdown timer letting me know how long this uh, debuff is applied to our enemy. And we got five more seconds, so let's go ahead and reapply it. And then we're gonna hit our spam button. And you'll see that it uses a lot of abilities, hits very hard, and then I'll use a finisher and go right into a spam again. And like I said, the finisher is basically just going to apply more damage to your normal attacks. It stacks just like power manipulation. So that's the whole concept right there. Frost Strike, spam the button, use finisher, spam the button, and finisher. So pretty simple right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and go into the burst ability here. So we'll go ahead and use our Frost Strike, build up combo points, and we want to use our Burst button twice. We want to use uh, the Rift Burst and also our Burst Synergy, and then you just use your Spam button until you get three combo points. Once you have three combo points, your Burst is done because it applies to your next three abilities. So that's basically how it works. It's a Builder, Finisher, just keep Frost Strike up at all times, and then whenever you're ready to burst, you hit it twice and it will apply your Rift Burst. And I probably need to have a K Alerts let me know that Rift Burst is up and it's applying to my abilities. And if I do end up putting that into my K Alerts, I'll have it in the K Alert code below and you guys can copy and paste it in. But as long as that Rift Burst is going, it's pretty easy to keep up with uh, in that as soon as you get three combo points, you know that your burst is over. So... Yeah, it's pretty easy to follow. Other abilities that we'll want to use is such as the AOE attack here. So we'll get right up on the targets and use our AOE attacks. And as you can see, it's hitting multiple people. And our finisher is going to cast uh, abilities that's going to ha hit everybody as well. We want to make sure that we're right on the targets because this is a melee build. So... Yeah, stuff like that, uh, Rift Storm right there. If if you're not right on the targets, it's not going to hit them. So make sure that you're playing this as a melee build as it's supposed to be played. All right, then we have other things such as we have our charge, which is more like a teleport, which tells teleports us right behind the target. Uh, we have our elude, which is if you're taking too much damage or something, you need to get out. Uh, they may be stunning you or... Uh, you know, just doing things to you that's going to stop you from getting away. You can hit elude and it'll break any movement and pairing effects. So, yeah, that's very important. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have our interrupt, which is a ranged interrupt at 20 meters. Even though it's a melee build, all range has had their interrupts increased to 20 meters. So that's really nice. Uh, we have our stun here, which if we cast that, you see it hits uh, multiple people. So, yeah. That'd be very good to use. We also have our wrist strike, which is a debilitate for five seconds. The bad thing about this is it is a melee debilitate. You have to be right on them. You cannot cast it 20 meters away like you can with your interrupt, which sucks, but that's the way it is. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Rift Play guide, and if you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Uh, keep in mind that if you want to produce a little bit more DPS and stuff, or else after you have become much better at playing this build, uh, you probably want to pull out some of the abilities from macros and all that, so that way you can micromanage them a little bit better. But you don't have to. This build will absolutely demolish people no matter how you do it pretty much so this is a very good way of playing it and you can play this way forever but if you want a little more dps you can of course pull out some things out of the macros and micromanage as much as you feel comfortable with put it that way all right guys hope you enjoyed it as usual my name is grim and i'll see you next time